for purple. Tonight, a new season begins for the reigning Big 12 champions. Tonight, new faces, new names will make their debut for Bill Snyder on a hot and humid night in the heart of the Midwest. Welcome to Fox College Football, presented by GEICO. Tonight, North Dakota State two-time FCS national champion will play Big 12 power, Kansas State. Frank Bullerjack, along with the old gunslinger Joey Harrington, glad you're with us on Fox Sports 1 Prime. finalist Colin Klein has departed but let me guarantee you Kansas State's offense still very potent Joey great wide receivers very potent running back and now a new quarterback shall lead them Jake Waters yeah Jake has the unenviable job of replacing Colin Klein who is more than just a big strong quarterback last year he was the emotional leader of this Kansas State team Jake can't try and fill Colin's shoes that's the important thing don't try and fill your sh his shoes be yourself He's a guy who runs well, has a smooth throwing motion, but more importantly, 39 touchdowns versus only three interceptions in junior college last year. Make smart decisions, play Bill Snyder football, and get that ball into the hands of your playmakers, and he'll do all right. North Dakota State is a defensive threat tonight for the Cats. They allowed less than 94 yards on the ground a year ago. Our sideline insider, Ryan Neese, played seven years for the Tampa Bay Bucks. He knows the Tampa 2 defense very well. Ryan. Greg, I know the Tampa 2 defense very well because it was ran to perfection by defensive coordinator Monty Kiffin when he was in Tampa. He's now the defensive coordinator for the Dallas Cowboys. Three things have to happen for this defense to be successful tonight. The defense alignment, they got to put pressure on the quarterback. The corners, they need to be physical and support in the run. And you know what? you got to have a stud middle linebacker like number 34, Grant Olson, running around making plays. My eyes are going to be tracking him all night. And fellas, it's fun down here, but I'll tell you what, it's pretty toasty as well. It's going to be a good night. Last season was a magical one for Kansas State. The Cats were the national championship discussion for most of the season before ultimately winning the Big 12 and playing in the bowl championship series. Their road back to the BCS begins tonight right here on Fox Sports 1. Kansas State University, and yes, the theme, we are family. That's the Bill Snyder way. Hot night in Manhattan, Kansas. Humid, 95 degrees, mostly clear as we get ready to kick it off tonight. Craig Ball, the head coach of North Dakota State, his 11th year in Fargo and the architect of back-to-back -back FCS national titles. His counterpart tonight, Bill Snyder, 73 years young, Oh, what a coach he is. He's built this Kansas State program into a Big 12 power and beyond. Kansas State won the toss, and they chose to defer until the second half. Jack Cantelli has it teed up. 35-yard line, Ryan Smith, Marcus Williams, 08. Here we go on a Friday night in Manhattan. That ball took a wicked hop. No return, and we'll see North Dakota state for the first time and on the field comes brock jensen to make his 38th start tonight joey and what a record he's had over the last two seasons incredible 28 and 2. over the last two seasons 28 and 2 but go back to his freshman year as a starter he's 32 and 5 as a starting quarterback you know craig quarterbacks aren't just asked to put up numbers they're asked to win ball games that's what brock has done this team averaged 33 points a game a year ago, back-to-back -back FCS National Championships. And they will start at their 25-yard line, first and 10. The motion man, Ryan Smith, on the jet sweep, 25-30, cuts it, 40, big yards on 
first down, moved the chains, a pickup of 17 on the tackle by Kip Daly. Our lineups tonight, who do you look for? Right there, you look for Ryan Smith. You're gonna see him all night on that fly sweep. They're gonna get the ball into his hands early and they're gonna run some play action off of that. Up front, a lot of returning linemen to open some big holes for running back Sam O'Jury and John Crockett. Now Billy Turner, number 77, the left tackle captain, and making his 22nd start tonight. Big play to start this game. North Dakota State, first and 10, 42 yard line. On a play action, on a rollout, Jensen spots his man near side and a horse collar. He's down, that's Gebhardt, number three by Trey Walker. Let's take a look at the Cats defense. Look at Ryan Mueller up front. The backer core, very talented with Trey Walker, Joey. Jonathan Trey, Truman. Blake Slaughter, by the way, keep an eye on. Exactly. Blake's a great story. Guy who redshirted last year for the good of the team, coming back to anchor that defense. So far, methodical for North Dakota State. Big play, a running play of five. Second down, five at the 48. Jensen on a three-step drop, and the Cats cave in. Ryan Mueller, number 44. He's the most experienced defensive lineman for Kansas State. You know what? Th this can't happen on a three-step drop. 66 Zach Johnson gets beat right off the line here. You got to give your quarterback time on a three-step drop to get the ball out of his hands. Quick throws are the way to get yourself in good down and distance situations. Now you're sitting in third and long. I'll tell you, this North Dakota State team, Consistent last year, 51% of their third downs were converted. That was seventh best in the FCS. Jensen from the shotgun, he needed nine yards to move the chains. All day to throw, Jensen outside, tipped and nearly intercepted, incomplete. That brings up fourth down. Hey, Craig, again, watch the, watch number 66, Zach Johnson, get beat in the inside swim move. Excuse me, this is the last play here. Again, getting pushed back into the backfield, getting the defensive pressure into the face of Brock Jensen. He had, to, had some room up and over the top if he has some time to step in and deliver that football. That offensive line needs to shore up against a Kansas State D-line that really doesn't have a whole lot of returners. Ben LeCompte will punt from his own 35. High, high hanger. Takes a bounce inside the 10-yard line, and the Bison right on top of it inside the 10 at the 7-yard line. So tonight, here he comes. Takes the big stage, Joey. You've been in this position before. Jake Waters, Iowa Western Community College, Junior College National Champions a year ago. Yeah, but it's a big step to hear Manhattan, <laughs> Kansas. You know what? 50,000 screaming fans is going to be a little bit different than the Junior College National Championship. Again, his job is to just play within himself. He's shown at the, at, at the previous level that he can make good decisions. And that's what Bill Snyder wants your quarter, his quarterback to do. Don't be a superstar, play within the system. Four wide receivers set, deep inside Wildcat territory. And Waters set to take his first snap as a cat. Flags out. A lot of movement up front. Joey on that North Dakota State defensive front. It, the first snap of the game. It, this is something that a quarterback has to pay attention Jake, to. That's their first time out of the half. So the well, Cats Jake, take a timeout. Exactly. Jake got bailed out there, calling a timeout from the sideline before that play clock ran out. We saw the back judge throw the flag because the play clock ran down. Coming off the sideline especially, you got to be aware of where the play clock is. You got to be ready to go. You know what, good or bad, he's going to be compared to that guy all season long. Heisman finalist a year ago, Colin Klein. 20 school records he owns, 16 touchdowns thrown last year, Joey. 23 scored on the ground. He was a horse. He was, They called him the Kleinsdale. I mean, the, this guy put the team on his back and carried him into the BCS last year. So now Waters will try to take his first snap after taking the timeout. Low snap from the shotgun, slings it, safe, safe play, and it's caught 
in the hands of Tyler Lockett, who made 44 receptions a year ago. C.J. Smith with the stop. Let's take a look at the uh, lineups for the Wildcats. Well, Tyler Lockett, he's a guy who needs to play a big part in this offense. An All-American two years ago was a freshman, just an explosive kick returner, needs to get the ball in his hands and make some big plays for Jake. And up front, B.J. Finney, former walk-on, handles things in the middle, number 66. A pickup of six, second down four. And Waters again from the shotgun. Flings it far side. A little pitch and pitch, first down, move the chains, the catch, Tremaine Thompson. So they go near side to lock it, now the far side of the field, Thompson, and we check out North Dakota State defensively. You know what, Ryan mentioned earlier, that the key to this whole defense is Grant Olson. I mean, he is the, the emotional leader, the physical leader, led the team in tackles last year with 148. He's gonna be all over the field today. So after that shaky start, Joey, first down for Kansas State. On the run is Hubert. And North Dakota State strings it out a bit and a pick up to the 25-yard line. You know what, Craig? I'm interested to see how John Hubert is going to react to not having Colin in the backfield. You know, last year, Colin was the guy who, who hit it in between the tackles, got the tough yards. He was the power quarterback. John was the guy on the outside. Things are going to be a little bit different with Jake in the backfield. Jake's a quick, a quick quarterback, has a really nice throwing motion. But John Hubert is going to have to change his game a little bit to match, to match that of Jake instead of Colin. They pick up a two. Another flag comes out near sideline. At the 26. Goal start, number 78 of the offense. Well, we've had a call of timeout. Second and now the Cats, it's Cornelius Lucas. And remember, both these teams are not penalized often. Very unfamiliar territory. Well, especially for Cornelius Lucas, first team all Big 12 last year. You know, he, he started all, thir all 13 games a season ago. Not what you'd expect from a leader on your offensive line. Bison show blitz. Waters up top. That ball may have been tipped around the 25. Took a, a bounce incomplete. Intended receiver was Tyler Lockett. We go back to the penalties because they're very well, both well coached. Very well coached. Kansas State, 31 yards a game last season. North Dakota State, 40 yards a game. They, they mimic the, the attitudes of their coach. coach. Coach Bull coming from the Tom Osborne School. Bill Snyder obviously has his own thing going here. Very disciplined programs. Third down, 12. Two wides high, two wides low. As Waters is pressured, he can run. Out of the pocket, takes his shoulder. That ball's out. Was he down? Yes, at the 24-yard line by Kyle Emanuel. Craig, I'm, I'm really surprised at how much pressure North Dakota State has been able to get on, on Jake Waters right now. He, he seems a little bit, I don't want to say rattled, but, um, you know, he's been flushed out a few times. North Dakota State getting home on a very experienced offensive line. Got a player down on a knee. For North Dakota State. That looks like Emmanuel. Yeah, 53. He had five sacks a year ago, 49 tackles. Bill Snyder, I'm sure, with a few words of encouragement and observations for Jake Waters on his first series in Big 12 football. You know, everybody who's played this position at this level in major college football knows the feeling of being out there for your first series. I mean, it's a bit overwhelming. Like we said, 50,000 people coming from junior college last year. Jake just needs to settle in and get control of the game. Don't let this moment become bigger than him. Matt Krause will punt, pressure, got it away. Good kick. Fair catch at the 26-yard line by Dudzik. Purple passion in Manhattan. Sell out crowd at Snyder Family Stadium. Scoreless in Manhattan. North Dakota State and the Kansas State Wildcats. And up on the phone is Mr. Waters. So far, two for three, 15 yards passing. And now the ball belongs to Brock Jensen. The vice of John Crockett, number 23 in the backcourt, backfield. This 
drive will start at the 27 yard line. Play clock to six, and now we got a flag out. There is no foul for illegal substitution. Our referee tonight out of the Big 12, Brad Van Vark. So back to work goes Jensen. Low snap, slings it near side. He does that so well. Zach Burrow with the reception. And Joey, time for tonight's Ford keys to the game. Yeah, exactly. For, for North Dakota State, tick, 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 tick. Keep that clock rolling. They have two strong running backs, John Crockett, Sam Ojuri in the backfield, who, who can lead this team all the way down the field. For Kansas State, they need to find some leadership. They got to replace not only Colin Klein, but Arthur Brown in the middle of that defense. Yeah, Big 12 Defensive Player of the Year has some leadership issues, or you should say they'll find out who wants to lead this team tonight. Handoff straight up the middle. They take it on the front of Kansas State, and they push the pile to the 35-yard line led by Crockett. Rick, don't be don't be confused. Just because these running backs are playing in the FCS doesn't mean they're not talented. These two guys, John Crockett and Sam Jury, you're going to hear their names a lot tonight, and I think you're going to be hearing their name for years to come. They're the type of backs who can have an impact on an NFL roster, strong downhill runners, and uh, I'll tell you what, I'd love to have them in my backfield. Uh, Crockett last year over 1,000 yards despite a groin injury for most of the season. Remarkable. Third down short. Crockett off the left side, untouched to the 39 fresh downs for North Dakota State. Let's go back to L.A. for our first game break. Here's Rob Stone. All right, guys, let's head to East Lansing. Jairus Jones with the pick for the Spartans and the lateral to Curtis Drummond. Drummond scores. He would later have an interception. Spartans on top early in the second quarter. All right, thank you, Rob. Fresh downs for the Bison. Jensen. Up high, that ball just through the hands, incomplete. Vera had a look, but up top, maybe another inch or two taller. Joey, he'd have it. You know what? Even though he missed a little bit high on that one, I've been really impressed with Brock so far. Tonight. Just seems in control. A four-year starter. He knows how to manage a ball game. He's thrown some quick balls, gotten the ball out of his hands. He's he's comfortable taking those four, six, eight-yard chunks because he knows that's going to put his team in a good situation. He's he's more than just a great quarterback. He's a great leader on this team. Well, early here, he's two of four passing for ten yards. Second down, ten at the 39. Quick throw far side. And the catch by Kerry Woods, a redshirt freshman. His first catch Craig, at there, North Dakota State. There it is again. Just take the six yards. You got an off corner. Just stand up. Take that six-yard hitch because now you go from second and ten to third and two or three. It's so much more manageable than if you were trying to hit a big home run every single time. You're going to miss a lot of those. Stand up. Take what the defense gives you. And now you're in the. Now you're in your wheelhouse. Now your playbook opens up and you can give the ball to your strong running backs. It was a pickup of eight. Third down, two. North Dakota State flirting at midfield. Jensen on a keeper. Stacked up, good pursuit by that defensive front, dressed in purple. Led by Shaquille Reed and the backer, Jonathan Thurm Truman. Watch, watch number 21, Jonathan Truman, step in here, wham! Met the fullback right in the hole. He stopped up that run. Didn't allow Brock Jensen to find a hole. He only needed two yards. Great job by the Will linebacker there. Ben LeCompte will punt for the second time tonight. Just inside his 35. Tremaine Thompson back to receive for Kansas State. We're kicking away from those Kansas State receivers. Both dangerous. And Tremaine Thompson and Tyler Lockett still scoreless. In Manhattan, defense playing a role early on a hot night in Kansas.
Opening quarter, and I will say this, Joey, North Dakota State is not intimidated <laughs> with the Big 12 champion Wildcats. Not in the least bit. This this North Dakota State team has gone out and, and beaten six of the last nine FBS teams that they played. They, they put it to Colorado State last year. Minnesota, Kansas, gone on the road and beaten them. This team is not intimidated at all by this crowd here in Manhattan. Cats go back to work at their own 12-yard line. They run it off the right side, and maybe a yard loss on the play. You know, Craig, no place to go. Lukey, number 94 with the stop. You know, uh, Craig, I want to go back for a minute. Uh, that first drive with Jake Waters. I, I remember Coach Bellotti, he actually told my wife, he said, we never knew what we were going to get from Joey in that first drive. It was either going to be into the, first, the fourth row of the stands or through somebody's face mask. You can expect this from the new quarterback. Now it's time for Jake to just settle in. Shotgun. Pass to 20. To the 22 is Lockett. And a big play and a first down for the Cats. You talked about North Dakota State. They've had recent success going up on the road and taking on FBS opponents. Uh, they beat Kansas back in 10. 2011, Minnesota. Last year, Colorado State, 22-7. Well, these haven't been close games the last couple years they've been by by a touchdown or two i mean they go out and they play great football no matter where they are they're not intimidated of being, being on the road against anybody game clock under six minutes in the first quarter waters on a handoff emmanuel who was shaken up on that last series back on the field and makes another hit and no gain on the play second down A great job up front. Danny Lukey doesn't necessarily have to make the play, but get in and make a pile. Allow your teammates to come in and, and, and clean that up. That's that's what's so great about both these teams. They play unselfish football. Get the cat side to get John Hubert rolling, hoping for a thousand yard season on the ground. Instead, they throw near side. It's a little pitch and catch. Waters and the catch by Curry Sexton. I, I love what they've done the last two. The last two passes from Kansas State after a, a shaky start by Jake. Just go back, essentially do what Kansas State has done, or excuse me, what North Dakota State has done with Brock. Get the ball out of his hands with quick, easy throws. Now you go from, from second and ten again to third and two. Put your team in a position to convert first downs and keep the ball in your hands and grind this clock. Great job by Jake coming back in this in this second series. Hubert, little wildcat. Dancing behind his offensive front, looking for a little opening. Look at the string out by the front line of North Dakota State. It's a little trickery by Kansas State in the quarter, but yet the Bison don't bite. Great job. You know what? what? Part of this Tampa 2 defense is having corners that can come in and, and make that tackle. Watch the linebackers and DN string it out, string it out, put them right into Marcus Williams, who contains it. He's not afraid to stick his nose in there and make a tackle. Marcus Williams, the All-American corner, defensive player of the year in the, in the Missouri Valley Conference last year, again, doesn't make the tackle himself, but puts himself in a position, puts his nose in there to allow his teammates to come in and make that tackle. Allowed less than 94 yards a game last year on the ground, North Dakota State. Kraus will punt again, and a good one. Line drive, Dudzik takes it, 22-yard line. Oh, boy. Breaks one tackle. Watch out. Midfield 50. Oh, boy. Still on his feet. 35-30. And does it. Takes it to the 24-yard line. I love it. I love it, Craig. How often do you see a, a FCS team come in and, and do what they've done in the first in the first quarter here? This is, this is a, a heavyweight bout. They're taking Kansas State's best punch right now, and they're giving it right back to them. 48-yard punt. A 55-yard return. And Joey right here, a little slip, and he picks up an extra 35 yards. <laughs> watch, the, watch the blockers up front for, for North Dakota State. Getting out. Tell them, follow me, follow me. Again, unselfish football. People aren't thinking about doing, doing what's best for them. They're thinking about springing their teammates, setting up their teammates to make tackles, to make big plays. That's the kind of team football that's going to win a ball game like this on the road. Remember Kansas State, Joey, lost nine Defensive starters from last year, including Arthur Brown, the Big 12 Defensive Player of the Year. Now the play clock timeout. is going to force a timeout for North Dakota State. 
And so they'll take a timeout. How about that look by Craig Bowl? But his Bison playing tough football on the road here in Manhattan. All right, back in Manhattan, as North Dakota State slipped in a play and a gain of about four yards. Cooper Wallow Craig, picking that, up yards, the, Skip Daly the tackle. That little reverse there was set up by that fly sweep early in the game with Ryan Smith coming around. The first play of the game, they ran. They started that look again, gave him the ball, and flipped it back on the reverse. They're setting up their plays very well. High formation, second down five. Ojuri, number 22, sets in the backfield. Up the middle, Ojuri takes a tackle, pushes the pile of purple inside the 10. Let's get a check downfield. Here's Ryan Neese. Hey, Craig and Joey, the sidelines right now, these guys are really excited. Right now, they're getting coached up behind me by Coach Gilman, the defensive coordinator, sitting down talking about the defense. The defense has done a great job. They came off the sidelines. They're high-fiving. Now they're getting ready to watch their offense, getting ready to score. They got the ball in scoring position. This is what you want to see from this North Dakota State team. Ryan, this team believes there's no doubt they've been on the big stage before. If you just joined us, two FCS national championships back to back. And now knocking on the door here in Manhattan. On the keeper, quarterback Jensen inside the 10. They'll mark him at the five yard line. Mueller making his third stop tonight for, what, for Kansas State. Craig, I, I love the play call. I love the play selection here from North Dakota State. They start the game with the fly sweep to Ryan Smith, hits it hard around the end, and they run the reverse off of it. A couple times, they give him the ball right up the gut, out of a shotgun single, single back formation, and now they run that same look. Bam, Brock Jensen takes it, keeps it right up the hole for a big gain. They're doing a great job of setting up their plays. Second down goal. Just outside the five-yard line, power eye. Ojuri taken down by one, two, three, four, five Wildcats. Slaughter, great story. Red-shirted last year, Joey. Arthur Brown, of course, the, the highlight of the defense. But now he's back after sitting out a year and his senior out of Missouri City, Texas, and a vital part of this K-State defense. Yeah, how, how many guys do you know that would go into their coach's office and say, you know what, coach, for the good of the team, I want a red shirt this year because I know next year I can come back and help. Just an incredibly unselfish player, voted team captain by his, uh, by his teammates. That says a lot. Big play here for North Dakota State. Third down goal at the five. Pressure from the edge. Pitch in the middle. Touchdown, Ryan Smith. Boy, he slipped. Fine hole right in the middle, Joey. And Brock Jensen knows him well. Found him right on the shoulder. Touchdown, Bison. Great pickup by Billy Turner, their All-American left tackle. Had a guy coming off the edge. Gave Brock time to sit in there, wait for that route to come back in. Watch, it's going to be a little drag route. Clear out by the tight end. Great job by Brock Jensen sitting and waiting for that hole to open up. Ryan Smith. Three touchdown receptions a year ago, and he puts North Dakota State on the board. The PAT by Keller is up and good. And what do you know? On the road tonight, FCS against FBS, the Big 12 reigning champion, down seven in Manhattan. Early 7-0 lead by North Dakota State here in the opening quarter. Ryan Smith slips in for the touchdown to put the Bison on top. And a bit of surprise brewing here tonight in Manhattan. The cop will kick. And back to receive. Dangerous combination of Tremaine Thompson, Tyler Lockett. Kick. They want to keep it away from those two explosive players, and they're going to give up some yards. And Joey and the Wildcats down seven will start this drive at their only 32-yard line. A moment ago, Brock Jensen finds Ryan Smith, the 5'7 senior for six. Hey, Ryan, what a, what a great job of execution by North Dakota State. When Kansas State brings it off the edge, they leave man coverage there. The tight end clears out the man coverage on top of him. 
which allows which allows the receiver to come in underneath into that void that he just left. Right. Ryan Smith did a great job getting inside Ty Zimmer. Zimmer got a little greedy. He took the little he took the little bait, bit on the bait, got himself in trouble, got behind the receiver, and let the receiver get in front of him and allowed him to catch a touchdown. Zimmer put himself in bad position in that play. Bobcats down seven. They start this drive. 32-yard line. Stands good protection throws near sideline as Sexton makes his second catch and he works his way to the 44 yard line as he's knocked down by Grant Olson, the middle linebacker. Olson, a tremendous player for North Dakota State. How about a 3 8 GPA in engineering? And he told us, you know what, I think maybe my calling is coaching. Why not? Sexton, two catches now. For 19 yards on two receptions. Play clock winding down here in the first quarter. Back to the air. Wildcats back to back receptions. Waters finds Lockett. Back to back first downs. Move the chains. Little hurry up offense, Joey, at the 44 yard line and a pickup of 12 yards. You know what? Sometimes you go hurry up to get the tempo moving, get you get in a little bit of a flow. After that first series, Jake has settled down. Completed a couple great uh, hits, a quick out over to the sideline here, and now is throwing the ball on time, pushing it down the field. He's looked like he's settled into this ball game. Split backfield, five on the clock here in the quarter. Short drop, beautiful pass. Catch, yes, back to back to back. First downs for Kansas State, and what a way to finish the opening quarter. Wildcats on the move. Down by seven to North Dakota State on Fox Sports 1. The Big 12 Conference. Only scoring in the first quarter. Brock Jensen finding his wideout Ryan Smith from five yards out. 7 0 North Dakota State. But on the move right now, Joey Jake Waters and the Wildcats. They've got something going. Fresh downs at the 34-yard line. Waters, nice cut. Spins out of a tackle. Shows some th strength on that play. He goes about 215, and a nice run. Picks up three the hard way. Knocked down by Brian Shepard, the strong, the strong, strong safety. Yeah, not exactly the rushing start that, no. that Bill Snyder would have hoped to have from an all-conference running back in John Huber, and a guy who moves as well as, as, as he does, Jake Waters. Um, you know what? Chalk it up to, to first quarter nerves, first game of the season, maybe being caught off a, a little bit off guard by this, by this feisty defense from North Dakota State, but they need to run the ball and control this clock. Huber just four carries two yards. And stacked up. Olsen on another tackle down around the 25 yard line let's get a game break back to los angeles and here's rob guys fau taking on miami the acc rookie of the year last season duke johnson gone from 53 yards out his 12th career all-purpose play of 50 or more yards it's now 13-3 canes the joey college football off and running first weekend last night Couple of games and the first one on Fox Sports 1 with Utah, Utah State, a beauty in Salt Lake City. Tonight we're in Manhattan, Kansas. And North Dakota State up seven. Waters up top. Little push, little flag, incomplete. Now we've got a contingent of Bison fans. They're applauding. They like it. I like I like Wildcat it. Wildcat fans disagree. You little know what? Bump. Hey, let, let him play. That, that's the All-American cornerback right there, Marcus Williams, defensive player here in the, in the Missouri Valley Conference last year. He's going to be physical. You know what, though? Watch. There's contact on both sides. Lockett putting his arm out, putting his left arm out. Marcus puts his back. That's a good, fair fight right there. What do you want to call it? Incidental contact? Incidental? Or you want to just let him play. Yeah, just let him play. Some 6,000 fans making their way from Fargo, North Dakota, here to Manhattan. Nice and well represented. Now we got a timeout call. Kansas State. Wildcats take a timeout. Forced to take one early in the first quarter. We'll step aside. North Dakota State up seven in Manhattan.
Hey guys, I want to look back at that play with Tyler Lockett and Marcus Williams. You know, when you think about North Dakota State, you don't think about their about them producing a lot of NFL talent. But when you look at Marcus Williams, you look at his accolades. He was a defensive player of the year last year, had seven interceptions. I mean, this guy is a playmaker. He demonstrated on that one-on-one -on -one coverage. Got his head turned around, was physical. I like him. I think he has the opportunity to go to the next level. Ryan, seven interceptions a year ago. Now we've got fourth down for Kansas State. Last year, five of eight on fourth down conversions. They're down seven. They need three yards to move the chains. Reaching out, looks short. Didn't get it. Waters waited a little bit, tried to try to juke Cole Jurek, and then Shepard came up and dropped him, the strong safety. How about this North Dakota State team here in the opening half? This defense is not intimidated in the least bit. Go back to last play with Marcus in the end zone. Here, coming up, safety's coming in, making a big tackle on fourth down. Craig, are you a little bit surprised that Kansas State didn't kick that? You know, at home, put points on the board, maybe try and stop the momentum of North Dakota State, who's come in and, and, and really been on a roll to start this game. I'm, I'm a little surprised at that call. You know, it's easy to sit and second guess when you, when you stop them on fourth down, but you might want to think about putting points on the board uh, just to kind of kill a little momentum. Now you and I talked about this. The last thing you want to give North Dakota State is confidence, and you saw a smile on that bench after the stop on fourth down. Bison will take over at the 25-yard line up by seven. They run to the heart and soul of the Cats by with John Crockett. And he picks up five yards. Phil Ryan Neese is the old linebacker, and I know he's liking what he's seeing tonight again for North Dakota State. Well, hey, Joey, I know you were a little bit surprised by that last call uh, by the Kansas State. I was actually surprised as well. And offensively, why aren't you giving the ball to John Huber right there? I mean, he's a physical runner. He's the guy you should get the ball to to get those extra yards. You give it to a quarterback on a quarterback draw. That's a tough play to get, get short yardage, a short yardage run. Double tight set. North Dakota State, second down five. Lone back is Crockett. Crockett punches outside, stiff arms, close to a first down, and he's chased out of bounds. Nice block up front by Colville, the center. Hey, you know, Craig, I don't want to keep harping on this point of, of, of Colin Klein, but that's the type of play they called last year when you had a big, strong, powerful quarterback who could get you two yards, you know, the, the whole three yards in a cloud of dust thing. You outnumber the defense by running with your quarterback, but Jake may not be that type of runner. He seems to be quicker. He seems to be a little more fluid. A guy who can get out of situations, but not necessarily the guy you want to, want to run on fourth and two right up the gut. Another defense tonight has been very physical. North Dakota State now to try to push a yard forward for a first down. But for a moment, you thought maybe you jump out of the arms. But Trey Walker finally drops Crockett for a loss. That brings up fourth down, call it two. You know, it wasn't, it wasn't Trey Walker who made this play. That was the pressure right up front. Marco, Marco Bryant gets in, creates a pile, forces the running back to bounce out wide. Great job in the middle. LeCompte will punt, and the right footer gets a nice kick away. End over end. And Thompson will call for it at the 22. K-State down seven. Waters on the field, ready to go back to work. Man. 18 rush yards. Manhattan, Kansas, the pride of Wildcat land. Tomorrow, the college football season on Fox Sports 1 continues. Full slate of games beginning with West Virginia hosting William & Mary, and that's followed by third-ranked Oregon taking on Nickel State University. Then the showdown between the Huskies of Washington, 19th-ranked Boise State. It all begins with a Ford Fox College pregame show tomorrow, 10 a.m. Eastern, right here on Fox Sports 1. Establish some offense and a ground game. Waters on the run, throws, and coming back to help. What a catch. What a catch at the 42-yard line, Tremaine Thompson. Fantastic catch, but fantastic job by Jake Waters getting out of pressure, rolling out the backside. And this, people don't realize how tough a throw this is for a right-handed quarterback going to his left. Squares up his shoulders, so nice. Great job getting his shoulders, hips in line, delivering a strike to the outside. That is the type of play that Jake Waters can make for this Kansas State. He's quick, he's elusive, he can get out and do that on the outside. 
and a first down. The previous play is under further review. So our first review of the night, and you heard our referee tonight, Brad Van Vark, and the call on the field completed. Right now, it's a 20-yard gain and a first down for Kansas State. Let's take a look at this replay here, Craig. You only need one in college football. We can't see from that angle if his toes were on the line. Boy, but did he have possession. Let's see if we can see a little better angle here. Ball. Toes clean. Looks good. Possession's clean. I think that's a catch. Replay official, by the way, upstairs, down the hall from us, Tom Robinson. Should we go tell him? It's a catch. <laughs> Let's go. Moving on. Yeah, you knock on the door. We'll see what happens. Catch and a first down. Indeed. Tom Robinson saw it the same way. Completion, 20-yard gain, first down, Kansas State. That's what the cats are looking at. How about that little sea of yellow from Fargo, North Dakota? Bison fans here tonight. All cats try to get something going here on offense. Down seven at the 42-yard line. Shotgun is Waters. Side arms it. Caught near side and out of bounds. Takes a hard pop at the 50-yard line. So Hubert. Smart, smart, smart play there, Craig. Defense dropping, trying to take away that big pass down the field. What do you do? You give it to the guy on the flat. Let somebody else make yards. That's the key for Jake. Don't try and do too much. Get the ball into the hands of Lockett. And Hubert, do it quickly. Make some yardage. Great job there. Hubert's starting to put up some impressive numbers. He hasn't gone downfield, but what he's doing, Joey, right there again, the example of five and six yards of pop inside North Dakota territory now. Nine straight completions at the 45-yard line. Well, nine straight completions after that shaky first drive. It says a lot about the composure of Jake Waters. You know, like we mentioned it earlier, 39 touchdowns and only three interceptions tells me he's got a good head on his shoulders. He knows when to push the ball, he knows when to check it down. He's settling into a real nice win. Over 3,500 yards passing last year at Iowa Western Community College. And he's on the stage tonight for the first time in Division I. Waters shotgun, shows patience. Looks right, looks left, goes up top. Goodbye. Touchdown, Cats! Tremaine Thompson. Joey, you have to like the patience and the skill set on that throw. You know what that did? His ability to buy time in the pocket actually made the strong safety, uh, Colton Heagle, Slow down, just stop on the play. He had his guy covered off the line of scrimmage, but Jake was buying so much time in the pocket that they that just kind of stopped and figured the play was dead. Great job keeping the play alive, delivering a strike down the field. You gotta play through every single whistle. Waters throws his first touchdown as a Wildcat, and it goes to Tremaine Thompson from 45. And Gentelli boots the extra point. We're tied at seven. Cool and calm. Waters going to work. Caps off that drive, a 45-yard lob to Thompson, 7-all. When you bring pressure on a, as a defense, you're trying to get home, fluster the quarterback, but you're leaving your DBs on an island. North Dakota State almost gets in, almost gets to Jake Waters, but right there. See Colton Eagle take a look in the backfield like the play was done. The moment he stopped his motor, he was done. Because that pressure didn't get home. You leave your DBs on an island. You, you gotta you gotta stay running with them the whole time. It's a tough thing to do. It's a tough assignment for those guys, especially Colton coming off of a knee injury last year, covering a guy like uh, Jermaine Thompson all the way down the field. Yeah, injured in week two, looked a little slow on trying to get back and cover Thompson. Short kick taken inside the five. Here comes. Williams, Marcus Williams, they're going to mark him out just at the 31-yard line. UFC Wednesday comes to Fox Sports 1 as third-ranked light heavyweight Glover Teixeira takes on Ryan Batter. Then it's the season premiere of The Ultimate Fighter featuring rival coaches Ronda Rousey and Misha Tate. 
UFC Wednesday brings you eight straight hours of great UFC action beginning at 4 Eastern with the UFC Fight Night pre-fight show and the prelims this week right here on Fox Sports 1. Got a good fight here. First half of play tied at 7. Ten minutes left in this first half of play. Jensen's numbers, as you would expect, just steady. Not a fancy guy, a quarterback that just gets the job done. It's plain and simple. Oh, jury. Haven't heard a lot out of number 22 tonight. He's in the backfield. On a throw, low, and a sliding catch complete at the 36-yard line. Get a check with Ryan Neese. Joey, this is an opportunity for this very experienced Bison team to show that you, you know what? Listen, hey guys, we took one on the chin right there. We got to find a way to respond offensively. We got to find a way to continue to move the chains down the field. Our defense may have given up a play, but it's our responsibility now to get the momentum back. They got to get some positive yards here on this drive. You know, twice, twice in this first half, they've been stopped on third and short. They need to convert those third downs to the right line and keep those chains moving. Jensen takes the snap low. Oh, jury, they hand off, finds a scene. Breaks it to the 46-yard line. He was moving behind that big front line of North Dakota State. Chunk, 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 Greg. <laughs> yes. Give it to these running backs. They're going to get you chunks. That Both of them went over 1,000 yards, both Crockett and O'Jury, averaging almost five yards of carry for both of them as well. They're going to move the chains. Like you said, Brock, Brock Jensen's numbers aren't, aren't eye-popping. 25 yards already and, and, and a touchdown, but he's efficient. He keeps the chains moving. Give it to these guys and run this clock. Keep it out of K-State's hands. First and 10. Cat show blitz on the edge. They back off. That forces Jensen to switch it up at the line. They'll hand it off. Second back through. Big hole and more. Watch out. Oh, upended at the 40-yard line. Oh, my. What a cartwheel. Grothman, the fullback, went airborne. Great check away from pressure on this by Brock Jensen. He sees it coming off the right end, runs power the other way. You know what? When you get pressure coming from one side, you got somebody dropping out on the else, on the other. And like we saw on the touchdown a moment ago, when you bring pressure and don't get home, you leave yourself vulnerable in the back end. That allowed the North Dakota State running back to get his way through, make a big play past the second level. That was Brockman who opened the hole. It was a jury who went airborne. Another first down. North Dakota State trying to answer after that touchdown by the Wildcats. Play action pass on the rollout. Jensen. Incomplete. Dorian Roberts, number four on coverage. Well covered. You know, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. Receiver Ryan Smith here could have done a better job of working backwards. Kind of settles on that sideline. Keep driving back. You know what? You may not get nine, ten yards, but at least you're going to get a completion of about six or seven. You know, sometimes the defense wins, Greg. Right? Yeah, it's a good matchup. I'll tell you, Ryan Smith, elusive, small guy. Joey, 5'7". Play clock to four. Delay handoff, and the Cats catch up after a pickup of maybe two to the 38-yard line. Ojuri, the ball carrier. Zimmerman was there on the on the uh, tackle along with Travis Britz, the defensive tackle for the Cats. You know what, Craig? That, you may not look at that and say it's a great run, but it kept him out of a negative play. You know, third and 12 is different than third and nine. It, it, it opens up a little bit, a few more plays in your playbook instead of taking a big seven-step drop and having to chuck it down the field. Now you're in your third and medium package where you can you can throw the ball over the middle and let someone run for that first down. Sometimes three yards is really good. Jensen lines up shotgun, third and long. Stands in the pocket tall, throws up top, and it's caught inside the 30-yard line. Well, I tell you, this young kid is everywhere. Ryan Smith, he caught the touchdown in the opening quarter from five yards out, comes across, but give the line some credit. They gave, he gave Jensen, they gave Jensen just an extra tick to throw the football. You're right, and he did a great job stepping up into that hole he gave him. But God, Ryan Smith, I was down on the field before the game watching him run around, and he is the spitting image of Wes Welker. I had a chance to play with Wes, Wes in Miami, just one of my favorite receivers to throw to. Ryan has that same body style, the same style of running, the same effort. It's fun to watch a guy like that play football. Lone back is O'Jury. The handoff. Cats pursue. They push him back. 
They'll lose a couple of yards back to the 30-yard line. Nice play by Dante Barnett. Can't seem to kind of be in a better sink here in the second quarter. They're more aggressive. You know, I, I think they, maybe they're out of the shell shock. Maybe they're out of, you know, finding out who their new leaders are going to be Great on the point. offense and defense. You know, it, it's tough when you lose a guy like Arthur Brown on the defensive side of the ball and Colin Klein on the offensive side of the ball. Guys who are emotional leaders. You, you got to find somebody new. And sometimes it takes game experience for a player like that to emerge. A loss of three officially. Second down, 13. And the power on. The play action standing tall Jensen stumbles falls as he's going down and a smart play drops it out of bounds and here's a guy who knows this game well he's experienced we talked about where he's been and he hung tough as the cats came in strong hey first of all great job by Sam O'Dreary wham stepping up and taking on that first blitzer but if the second guy comes on a comes on a late dog wraps around and, and Brock Jensen saves 15 yards by throwing it out of bounds, knowing where his receiver is, because you know what the key is? He was still in the pocket. He couldn't just throw it anywhere. So he threw it in the vicinity of his receiver on this sideline, but threw it where no one else could get it, and, and, and a bad play wouldn't happen. You just saw the pressure coming from 53, Blake Slaughter. Crowds up and alive. Third down and long again, good protection. Oh, and it collapses in a hurry. Oh, he had a pocket slaughter, back-to-back -back plays, and 53 brings his crowd on their feet. You know what? That could be a big, big sack. You had the ball on the 29-yard line. You're looking at a 29, 39, 46-yard field goal. Now you take yourself out of field goal range, and you're going to have to punt this football. Coverage down, field coverage sack. Absolutely. He, he sat in the pocket. You saw how long he sat in that pocket. Quarterbacks don't like to sit back there in that pocket. They want to get rid of the football. That was a great job by the Kansas State secondary. Fourth down, little push punt. Inside the 50-yard line. And a, oh, what a punt. Touched, downed at the three-yard line. You could not draw up that play any better. But K-State's defense, marvelous job on that. That series led by Slaughter. Welcome back to Fox College Football. Due to time constraints, we move ahead to later in the game. K-State takes over. Under two minutes left. We're tied at seven. Hand off Hubert. Get it outside, and again, North Dakota State, they string it out. Hubert, no place to go, couldn't hit the edge. And from the crew that brings you America's number one pregame show comes Fox Football Daily. You can get everything you love on Sunday, every day of the week. Fox Football Daily, weeknights at 6, Eastern, only here on Fox Sports 1. Brings up second down and five. Clock runs under a minute 30 here in the quarter. As we are closing in on halftime. Waters on a play action. Smothered underneath he goes. Seven all. Just under, just over now a minute. Down in seven. Play action. Zing it to the near side and looks to be short of the first down. Gronkowski, the fullback, with the reception. Timeout. North Dakota State. We've got a timeout and we'll step in. Craig Bowler Jack. Joey Harrington, the old gunslinger from Oregon, and Ryan East down on the sideline tonight. Hot night in the Midwest. What you expect? 7-7 seven, seven nearing halftime? You know it is. I mean, this this is not this is not your typical FCS team coming into a former Big 12 champion. This is a two-time defending national champion. I don't care what level it is. Winning a national champion 
championship, let alone two of them, is a tough thing to do. This is a tough running football team, a very aggressive uh, veteran defense that's given Kansas State fits. And, and frankly, this is a game that's going to come down to the wire. We talked about earlier, we may need that kicker for, uh, for North, Dakota, North Dakota State here later on in this ballgame. Joey, too, we talked about the leadership and trying to find who that player will be. Colin Klein, such a big part of Kansas State football over the last couple of years. And we've seen a couple of players make some, maybe make a step forward in that direction here, too, in the first half. Krause will punt. That's it at the 33 yard line. And that's where North Dakota State will start here in the final seconds of the first half of play. And Ryan Neesh, your thoughts on this first half on a hot night in Manhattan. Well, Craig and Joe, I mean, it's definitely hot down on the sideline, but I'll tell you what's been impressive is North Dakota State, they've been physical. On offense, they're running the ball. They're pounding the ball in between tackles. They're getting positive yards. And defensively, you got to watch them. The pursuit to the ball. All 11 players are getting to the ball here, putting a hat on the ball. That's very impressive. Then you look at Kansas State. Hey, they had the opportunity to have some explosive plays. The touchdown was an explosive play. they they got to get back to that. I think if they use their speed in the second half, they're going to allow, allow themselves to get back in this game. Final seconds here of the second quarter. Jensen shotgun. Stops and throws underneath. He stayed right on the spot. And a hard hit delivered by Slaughter on Ojuri. Stay close. Coming up by the Pizza Hut halftime report. Check out college football, a little preview of what's to come tomorrow. This game is winding down in the first half. Looks to be a 7-7 tie. That ball is caught just, just short of midfield. And it's in, incomplete to Gephardt. Both coaches will head to the locker room. Kind of like to be that fly on the wall, Craig Bowl and Bill Snyder. You know what, Joey? It's interesting. Opening week, wherever you are in college football, is so unpredictable. You're coming off a huge rest. We're talking about nine months off. Nine months off from game action. It takes a little while to get back into things. Ojuri breaks it. Watch out. 40-yard line. Ojuri makes us. Little stutter step, and he pushes his way down to the 30 as the clock runs dry. K-State playing soft on defense. They didn't allow the touchdown, but a big gainer to the 30. Bill Snyder off to the locker room. We're at halftime, 7-7. We now go to Rob Stone, Roy Wire, Coy Wire in L.A. for the Pizza Hut halftime report, guys. Welcome to Fox College Football, presented by Geico. Halftime here in Manhattan, Kansas, 7-7, North Dakota State, and the Wildcats of Kansas State. Great <laughs> bowler jack along with Joey Harrington. I, I, look, I know, I know it looked like I just got out of the shower, but it's here? the Midwest humidity. <laughs> My goodness. Must be tough on the field tonight, huh? You, you don't break what? a sweat, do you? Hey, we're quarterbacks. We don't sweat. Yeah, we cool. perspire. Yeah, you know? <laughs> you know what, though? Th this I thought this would be a more of a key for a North Dakota State team coming down from the north into the heat and the humidity and might take them away from what they wanted to do, which was grind the ball, control the clock, keep the game close into the second half. But you know what? That's exactly what they've done. Five minutes more they've had the ball than Kansas State. This is exactly what they wanted to do to set up a close second half. And you know what? You never want to give an underdog a chance in the second half. Good point. Now let's check out the, the Chevrolet halftime stats in comparison. We thought that we'd see Kansas State try to establish a run game tonight with Hubert, but just 19 rush yards, 148 yards uh, passing through the air. But again, your point well taken. 17 minutes and change in that first half. Time of possession dominated by North Dakota State. Let's get a check. He had a chance to, I think, walk, not run this time. 
with Bill Snyder of Kansas State. Ryan? I had a chance to talk to Bill Snyder and Coach Bowl when I first talked to Coach Bowl from North Dakota State. He said, you know what, fellas? This is exactly what we expected. This is the message I'm going to tell the guys at halftime. we got to find a way to run around on defense, continue to tackle, and offensively, we've got to run the ball better. If we continue to run the ball, eat up the time, eat up the clock, we're going to win this game. And Coach Snyder's, you know what? When he came out, he said, I'm a little disappointed. we got to find a way to allow our team to execute. Offensively, we got to run the ball better. You know what? We only had 19 yards. We've got to find a way to be more physical at the point of contact. And defensively, we, you know what? We're doing okay, but we've got to find a way to make turnovers. We want to create turnovers. and create turnovers, we give ourselves a chance in the second half. Ryan, I'm going to ask Joey. Uh, obviously, we still go back to one of the, the bullet points of this game, and that's leadership. Life without Colin Klein. You can still see uh, Kansas State still reeling from a, from a player that really dominated offensively over the last couple of years. He did. They, you can see the play calling maybe leaning towards what they used to have early in the game, but Jake Waters settled in nine straight completions. He's 11 for 13. He did have that big pick deep in his own territory, but I think he's done a great job of settling into his role on this team. How about that? LeCompte with a little punch, pooch kick to the 30-yard line. They want to keep the ball out of the hands of Tyler Lockett and Tremaine Thompson, both dangerous every time they touch the football. And don't forget, Lockett last year had a couple of touchdowns for, well, kick returns for touchdowns. Well, exactly. He comes from a long line of kick returners here at Kansas State, too. Son, his, his dad, Kevin, is the all-time leading receiver here at Kansas State. His uncle, Aaron, was fourth all-time. They say, he says, what's the difference between you and your uncle and your dad? He said, Aaron was the kick returner, had the yeah. speed. His dad had the hands, and he's a combination well, of he's both. The combo exactly. Player. He took a little bit of each. So Kansas State with Jake Waters, the junior college transfer at the helm. We'll go back to work to start the third quarter, tied at seven. That ball's completed at the 36-yard line to Thompson. Got like knocked down by Marcus Williams. We had a pick in that first half. He did. I, li I like that play call. Get it out of his hands quick. Get the second half started with a little bit of rhythm. We have a player down on a knee, or is he on his backside there at the 36-yard line? That's Little John, Carlton Little John, the Sam linebacker. And he's up. So far in this game, and you, know, you looked at me, and I mean, it's a hot night, let's be honest, mm -hmm. and humidity high. We saw a lot of cramping last night, Salt Lake City, Utah, Utah State. So far, both these teams look well hydrated. Haven't seen any indication of uh, fatigue at this point. You, the way Little John's walking off the field, you may, you could infer maybe that's what it was. It doesn't look too serious. But this is going to pay. This is going to pay dividends later in the ball game to see what kind of condition North Dakota State has. Hubert lines up behind Waters on second down three. They take the run. They throw it far side. First down. Move the chains. And a beautiful catch by Thompson. Let's check in again. Here's Ryan. Craig and Joe, you guys showed the stat. North Dakota State's defense only gave up 19 yards rushing the first half. They were physical. They were relentless with their pursuit. These guys were all over the place. They strung out plays. This is the kind of defense that you'd like to see. They have to continue to play like this in the second half if they want to shut down this Kansas State offense and prevent them from putting any points on the board. They may see Waters continue around to throw the football. Little pump. Once the deep ball does, airs it. Got a man. On the button. Lock it. Touchdown, Kansas State. Fifty six yards. Last season, Kansas State scored touchdowns on nine of thirteen opening possessions in half number two. And they strike again here in the third quarter. Great play call, taking advantage of Marcus Williams' aggressiveness. He already has an interception. He's the best corner in, in, in FCS. You know he's going to jump a route like that. Extra point for the uprights. Gentelli. You know, you. Lock it. 56 yards. Electrifying on the hands and the Wildcats up seven.
And you know, Craig, sometimes the best corners to throw a double move on are the best ones. They're the most aggressive. They make those plays, but they leave themselves vulnerable sometimes for this double move. Watch Lockett. Gives him a little stutter step. Marcus Williams thinks he's going to come up and make a pick again on a quick hitch. Instead, Lockett turns, runs right by him. It's, we, we always used to find the most aggressive corner, the best corner, and say, you know what, that's the guy we're going to double move because we know that he's going to try and stick his nose in there and make a play. Sometimes it backfires. You know, that, that's the best thing about great corners is they're going to stick their nose in there and make a play, but they're going to give up a play every once in a while. Let's see how he comes back. Kicks away. Williams, who had just burned, breaks one tackle another and spins his way to the 32-yard line. Downstairs we go. Here's Ryan. Joey and Frank, in the first half, we saw Marcus Williams cover Lockett, and he did a great job of man-to-man -man coverage. He prevented, the, he prevented the touchdown. You know what? His eyes helped him in that situation. This time, his eyes got him in trouble. His eyes allowed him to take a false step, like Joey said, bit on the cheese, bit on the double move, and allow the wide receiver to lock it to get behind him and score the touchdown. Your eyes are the keys. You've got to understand what you're looking at as a defensive back, and the good ones always know where their eyes are before their feet move. Ryan, we love aggressive defenders like you. We could throw you all over the place with our eyes. Let's see how North Dakota State responds. Remember, they scored first in the opening quarter. Now down by seven, and that gives a little confidence to Kansas State defensively. Mueller with the tackle at the 31. That's no game. Look at Jensen's numbers, 7 of 15 for 45 yards and a touchdown. And that throw was to Ryan Smith. Who, Joe, I'm expecting they've got to go back to. He's just too good of a weapon not to have on the field and with the ball in his hand. They, they did a really nice job early in the first half setting up that play action, or the, excuse me, the reverse off that fly suit. I wouldn't be surprised to see a play action come off of it. Jensen in the pocket throws, middle field picked. Dante Barnett. to see that free safety sitting in the middle of the field. Watch Brock Jensen just staring down. Doesn't move his eyes, stays right on him. You gotta give him a little bit of look off. They're too good at this level to be able to consistently throw that dig route in there. Gotta look him off, move his safety first. Brock Jensen just was staring at that route the entire time. Well, momentum has made a shift here in Manhattan. Bill Snyder must have had the, uh, the right words at halftime. Offense is clicking, now the defense gives the ball right back to the Cats. Hubert, Hubert stacked up, hit a wall. Hit a wall of Bison, no gain back at the 36-yard line, led by Hegel. And Joey, you look at this, uh, those numbers from last season, the turnover margin in 2012. You're gonna win with those numbers. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> You're gonna win a lot of ball games like that. Why you go 11 and 2, your only loss of the regular season at Baylor, and then a tough loss to the Ducks in the Fiesta Bowl. Three wides, top of your screen. Play clock to two, got the snap away. Waters, far side, pitch and catch, and a little breakdown of a tackle as Lockett spins for an extra yard to the 29. And guess who they're picking on right now is Marcus Williams. You know what, this may be the time to do it. He's going to be a little bit softer, may have that in the back of his mind. But, but Craig, this is one of those plays that come up throughout the course of a game. That right now, you need to get off the field if you're the North Dakota State defense. Hold Kansas State to, at the very least, a long field goal attempt. Shotgun. He's taken what, really, the Bison are giving him. Sexton, the, the reception, but, Joy, what it is is five, six, maybe seven yards at a time, at, on a throw. All you needed was three right there. Yeah. I mean, that was a great job. It, he, ever since that first series, and, and really, you discount that one mistake on the interception because those are going to happen. He's going to learn from that. But he has just done a great job of distributing the ball quickly, taking what the defense gives him. It's such a cliche, but it, but it wins. Those type of throws win ball games. A catch. 
the first third down conversion of the night. Now one of the six. There's another quick pass. Found a soft spot in that North Dakota State defensive secondary, and it's the tight end. Zach Trujillo. You know, 85, we had a touchdown, by the way. He, he early. Did. We we talked in the first half. That was the call. That, that was the play action off the fourth down run they called with, with Jake Waters trying to run for it. It was a nice setup. Even though they didn't get it on fourth down in the first half, it set up that play. That set up the aggressive play by the linebacker so the tight end could sneak in behind them for the completion. Waters putting together some impressive numbers here in the third quarter. Trying to cut the corner. Great pursuit. Hubert knocked down. He has good speed, but Hegel, that time, shut the corner down. It's tough when you get strung out, when you get pushed out. Great job by the North Dakota State defense moving them out, but John Hubert needs to know it's second down and one. Don't lose yardage. Now you're sitting there at third and three instead of third and one. Just duck your head up. Sometimes, sometimes just, just duck your head and get zero. Just dive forward. Don't put your team in a bad situation. Third down three. At the 17. Play clock. The three. Got to get it away. Just got it. Snap. Go. Timeout. And there was a timeout called. Timeout. Kansas State. Bill Snyder had to step in to save his uh, new quarterback. And a timeout. Cats on the move, and they're up seven on Fox Sports 1. Momentum changer in Manhattan. You saw the touchdown lock at 56 yards here in the third quarter. And then just a moment ago, the defense steps up. Dante Barnett with the interception, and the Cats with a chance to put more points on the board here in the first five minutes of quarter number three. We said it just a moment ago, right before they converted the last third down, another chance to keep the keep the chains moving for Kansas State. We got a new quarterback in the ballgame here. Daniel Sams, he can run the Wildcat. He's got good speed, can hit the edge. He takes a snap, and up the middle he goes. Makes a cut. Ten, five, touchdown, Kansas State. Snyder and, and and he said what a great job uh, Sam's does running the football big big touchdown for Kansas State converting that turnover into points it, it's a, it's an understatement to say points are at a premium in a game like this when both teams are trying to control the clock but a 14 point deficit to start the second half is a big hole for North Dakota State to dig out of 17 yard run by Sam's the PAT up and good how about that Two touchdowns, five minutes, two seconds here in the third. Got the big touchdown. Sam's fresh off the bench, runs it in. Cats up by 14. Is to be ready at any moment and you're you know we all laugh we see him go straight to the bike but what he's doing he's staying loose he's staying ready he's staying in the game fresh to know that if he comes in he needs to be able to run great job by daniel sams being prepared for his moment when his number was called he came through for Kansas State. 21 unanswered points by the wildcats again telly a deep kick five yards deep and no return for the bison Now we talked about Ryan how this kind of played into the hands of North Dakota State in the first half Kansas State has turned the tide Craig and Craig and Joey when I was watching that touchdown I was actually standing in the back of the end zone and Daniel Sams he was gonna follow his fullback but he had great vision he put his foot in his ground he made one cut he made two cuts and he got all the way to the back side of the defense and uses athleticism to get in the end zone I thought that was a terrific job using vision you know he you gotta, gotta respect the guy where he has the ball in his hands to be able to make that cut, put his foot in the ground, and score a touchdown. North Dakota State down 14. They'll start at the 25. On a rollout, Jensen. 
and smartly tucks and runs and hugs the sideline, picks up maybe a yard, maybe two yards. Let's get an update tonight. Back to Los Angeles, and here's Rob Stone. All right, let's head to Tucson, Northern Arizona at Arizona in a second career start. B.J. Denker finds a wide open Daniel Jenkins from 11 yards out. Zona up, sporting those copper lids. Arizona strikes first in that game. I'm sure it is a bit warm. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> in hey, Arizona. Don't, don't sleep on Kadeem Carey out of Arizona, one of the best running backs in the country. Bison back to work. K-State's defense is a totally different look than what we saw in the first half. More active, more to the ball type of action, swarming defense, and Mueller has been busy. Craig, North Dakota's got, North Dakota State has a, has a choice to make right now. Are you going to stick to what you've done and continue to run, run, run the football, knowing that you're not going to have as many opportunities and you're going to continue to grind this clock being down two touchdowns, or are they going to throw it? You can make up some ground, make a few big plays, but you could also give the ball right back to Kansas State a lot quicker than you want to. Derek Lane, number five, checks in alongside Brock Jensen. On third down and five, pedals back, throws over in the middle, caught it right on the hands of Smith. How about that move? Hits the edge and bumped hard out of bounds at near field at the midfield of the 49. I used to love throwing that route to Wes Welker. I used to love throwing that route to Wes. He's, he, Ryan has that feel for the middle of field. Sees it, he sees man coverage and separates. He's got a choice there. He's coming across, if he feels a zone, zone coverage, he's gonna sit down and find a hole. He knew that his defender was playing high and outside and he rubbed right underneath his own guy, created some separation and just stayed on the run. Great read by the wide receiver in space. What that, what's that called, his slip ability. Happiness in quarterback. Absolutely. Fresh downs, nice cut. Off the right side, two yards. K-State shuts the door down hard on Crockett. And you look at uh, Brock Jensen. I'll tell you what, thought he had some rhythm going, didn't you? First half? He, he did. He started out throwing the ball efficiently. He's not a guy who's ever going to push it down the field all ball game. But what he needs to do is he needs to hit some of those shorter throws. He had a couple drops there at the end of the first half that, that hurt him a little bit. But really, it's about rhythm. It's about getting this running game going to open up the passes for Brock. Second down. Call it seven. Another throw near side. And it's that four and five yard pitch and catch game right now. And the ball's caught by Wallow, Cooper Wallow. Again, what'd you do? You went from second and eight to third and two. It may not seem like a big play, and it's not flashy and exciting, but it's what they ask Brock to do in this offense, and he does it very, very well. Take what the defense gives you and put your team in a, in a chance to convert, convert for first downs. You can run the ball in this situation. With Craig Bull in his 11th year, looking for his 90th career win tonight. On the road here at Kansas State, play clock under five. Jensen just got it away. Quick three-step drop throws. Had to put that ball right on the money. He does. Short, though, it looks from our point. Oh, the first down. Ryan Smith with a nice catch, however. Boy, what a catch. You know what, though? You think you look at that ball and think that it was a miss, but he had to put it there. That was great coverage on Kansas State's part. How about this, Joey? First hurry-up play of the night. Crockett lines up behind, and they're going to go keeper. And Kansas State lines up, pushes the pile back. I think he got it. Let's see where the spot is. I think he slipped off that center. Ford got the first down. It's all about that first push. And he pushed it past the 41-yard line. Kansas State did a good job of, of reacting, seeing North Dakota State get up the line. They jumped into a, you know, almost a, an old uh, double eagle front where they covered the nose. They put a guy on the nose and a guy on both guards, three men up tight. Brock did a good job of finding the space. All you got to do is find a space for a couple inches. That much. Crowd <laughs> throws out a chorus of boos. <laughs> Bison fan says, yeah, move the chains. Let's check in with Ryan. Craig and Joey, when you see a team huddling up all game, you can, you can get a little lazy as a defense, but all of a sudden, North Dakota State went hurry up on them on fourth down. But I'll tell you what, I was very impressed with Kansas State's defense alignment. They had a sense of urgency to get lined up. Yes. North Dakota State was able to get the first down, but I promise you, uh, Kansas State did a great job trying to do everything they can to prevent that. 
he got this by the skin of his teeth. You know, if it was fourth and one and a half, he isn't getting that. Well, it's under official review. You know, Craig, by the looks of the chains, they have to get to the opposite side of that hash mark. Yes. Literally about eight inches past the tip of that ball. And remember, it's not where Brock's helmet is. It's not where his shoulder pads are. It's where the farthest tip of that ball gets to. That will be tough to, uh, to turn around. Tom Robinson, our replay official for the second time tonight, will take a look. Could, What's you, gonna, make, could you make that call? No, I, I don't think you can overturn this no. call, at least not from the views that we've seen. But what's going to help him is he had the ball in his left hand. As he was sliding off to the left side, he had the ball in his forward arm, which is going to automatically put the ball on the front side of his body. Like we said, he only needed eight yards. After further review, the ruling on the field stands as called. Excuse me, not eight yards, eight, eight inches. Eight inches. Exactly. North Dakota State, 111 yards on the ground. Just 33 for Kansas State. This is the eighth play of this drive. Clock under six and a half to play in the third. Great recognition by Brock there. Pressure coming off the strong side. Play action. And they gave it to Crockett, and he's able to slip outside. He's done this twice now yes. today. He's done this twice. He felt pressure off the strong side on the tight end, and he checked to a power weak. That must have been their, their pressure check. They must have seen something from Kansas State that they like to run that power to the weak side when they brought strong pressure. He's done that twice today. Injured player down. That's number 95, Travis Britz. Sophomore out of Harrisonville, Missouri. And checking out that... That left ankle. Craig, this is this isn't a this isn't a a part of the Kansas State team that there's a whole lot of depth or experience right now. This is a you can't afford an injury on the defensive line. Trying to replace guys like Meshack Williams on the defensive line. They, I, if I remember correctly, they had two starts combined by all the four starters on the defensive line. This is not a, uh, a good injury. No injury is a good injury, but this is, is definitely not a good thing for Kansas State's defensive line. Joey, that picture tells you just how big these young men are to play this, this football game. He's 6'3", hits the scales, just under 300 pounds. You saw Snyder came out to check on his big tackle. Keep an eye on 95. He gets caught in the air. Looks like that ankle just goes on him. Turned it. Ooh. And he jumped quick to get off of it. So Britz makes his way off the field. And North Dakota State's looking at second down and seven. Drive, Joey, chewing up game clock under six minutes in the third. Let's get this K-State defense on the field. Movement, flag. Ball starts, offense number 71, five-yard penalty, remains second down. Hey, Craig, at what point does fatigue become an issue here? You know, Coach Bull told us the difference between an FCS roster and an FBS roster is depth. You got guys that are playing a lot more. You got skill position. You got good players, but you got less depth of them. And so when you get into these hot nights, yes. late into the third, start of the fourth quarter, you get tired. Are you going to start making these mental mistakes? This is going to be a fight for North Dakota State to keep in it mentally and physically. Four on the play clock. Gets the snap away, wide open. Guess who? Wiggles into the middle is Ryan Smith. And again, there's that slip ability. He just has a great feel for where the secondary is and just leans and finds a hole. Man or zone. It, it, it really is. Some receivers have it, some receivers don't. Guys like this have it. And like I said, I, I keep hitting on it. it. It's what Wes Welker has. He knows when to run. He knows when to separate. He knows when to slow down and allow the quarterback to, to, to sit him in a hole. Great job of reading his own and slowing down his route. Well. 
Bison mix it up. Now they go up the middle on the run inside the 25 to Crockett. How about Brock Jensen on that last pass, though? Been a little bit out of rhythm. We talked about it a few plays ago. Stepping in and making a big throw to convert a first down. That, that's experience. A four-year starter there. Another player goes down, Truman. You know, and you, you're talking about the heat, and maybe that's the first sign of it tonight. We saw the ankle turn on Brits, and now Truman, hard to guess, but it looks like maybe a little hip. Maybe holding the hand, hand yeah, hamstring back there. But again, you know, I, I talked to some uh, North Dakota State fans today. You, you talk about the heat. I mean, they look worn down themselves here in Manhattan, but they say, hey, it's been a hot summer. It was 87 there today. <laughs> it was 87 but, at 6 this morning. But it was yeah. 103 here in Manhattan with humidity to match. Great ball fake. Jensen throws. <laughs> Rumbling, stumbling, bonnet. Number Fan. 46, the fullback, inside the 10. Fantastic play. Fantastic play. I'm, I'm, I'm going to cut you off here. This is too good by Brock. Watch. Sells the play fake away. Now watch him get his head around. Wham! See that defensive end. That guy's coming unblocked. He's got to just pop it over the top. Force that defensive end to commit to him. And you know what? It's tough. It's tough to deliver that ball when you know someone's going to pop you right in the you mouth. you got to give some love to Bonnet, who made a nice catch as he turned it upfield. And now North Dakota State. In scoring position inside the 10-yard line, down by 14, low snap. Balls up and in. Touchdown, Bison. Great pass. How's Brock Jensen going to respond? That's how he's going to be. How he's going to respond? That's senior leadership. That's four years of starting. Great throw and catch. How about the play calling though? You go full back and then tight end to Yodlin. And a touchdown. Big play by Bonnet. Now the big touchdown by Yodlin. And all of a sudden, the Bison back in this football game. I was wondering how they were going to do it. Whether you're going to start throwing the football and break game plan? No. They kept pounding, and they threw it when it was available. They're, they're not changing their style of football. They're not scared by anything. Keller splits the uprights in the PAT good. Seven-point ball game here in Manhattan. 21-14. Well, he's a tough guy. Jensen on his back, and then he comes right back and finds 85 for the touchdown. Got a game brewing in Manhattan, 14 for the Bison, 21 for the Cats. So, hey, watch this window that Brock Jensen has to throw into. Great job keeping his composure. The senior been, been there, done this. After a bobbled snap, so many guys would panic. But you know what? Stands right up, gives his play fake, fires it into a tight window there. That's a senior for you, Craig. A lot of guys would panic in that situation. Maybe throw it high, maybe force one in. He stayed calm, he stayed composed. And after a three for 10 stretch, comes back and throws a couple nice balls. Another short kick to keep it out of the hands of Lockett. They're giving K-State some pretty good field position all night long. Again, the Cats at the 32 yard line. Hey, Wednesday, the ultimate fighter will be right here on Fox Sports 1. World champion Ronda Rousey and Amisha Tate will bring the rivalry to the house as coaches and for the first time ever right here, you'll see it on Fox Sports 1. Wednesday at 10 Eastern, the ultimate fighter. Now the question, how does Waters respond? Up top, first pass, what do you know? Sliding grab inside Bison territory. Tremaine Thompson wide open, and now the Cats are moving. What a third quarter this has been. It's taken them a while to get the ball down the field. You know, the, the play calling early, they took a shot in that first half down against Marcus Williams. But Jake was a little out of rhythm to start. Now that he's got these, these quick hitches under his belt, he's starting to push the ball down the field. He's looking good. 20-yard reception for Thompson. First down, play action. Waters turns, has time, dumps it out of the backfield and on a knee. It looked like it hit the ground. Hubert, that's an incomplete pass. Let's get a game break. Los Angeles we go. Here's Rob Stone. Thanks, guys. Garrett Gilbert, the Texas transfer, now running the show at SMU and the quarterback keeper from 23 yards out, cut the deficit 
to just four. Gilbert has been the story for SMU thus far. All right, thanks, Rob. And Texas Tech having no problems tonight in their opener. Got a good one. Battle here tonight, North Dakota State, K-State. Smart play. Waters had coverage downfield, tossed it out of bounds. And he felt the pressure up front. Revlo, number 60, the nose guard. Joe, I think you'd like these numbers for Jake Waters. This quarter alone, 7 of 9, 111 yards. Efficient. That's what Bill Snyder wants. Five wide receivers set. Here comes pressure. Got him. No, let him go. Throws the ball, takes a hop, and complete. Hey, Craig, North Dakota State came after Jake Waters there. They played a cover zero look which means they took everybody out of the middle of the field and they said, we're going to bring one extra rusher and we're banking that we're going to get home before you can get the ball out. He slipped out of it, almost made a play and got a first down. But that was an aggressive play by North Dakota State's defense on third and ten. Mark Krause set the punt. Inside its 40-yard line. Up high in the rim, no return. They'll take a bounce inside the five, chance for the Cats to doubt it, and they do. Looks like your sandwich, yeah, Joey. Cut the turf, kick back, and... I don't get that much backspin. <laughs> Down she goes. The Kraus puts the Bison in a hole. Now, I say the Bison. Joy. I haven't said it all night. I, I just call him North Dakota State. And because, I mean, we, we had a chat with North Dakota State all week long, and they said they prefer, fans prefer, that they say, we say bison. Of course, bison, buffalo, growing up, you know, here, as you know, in Midwest, that's where they, the buffalo roam. Exactly. So, you know, it's, it's a dialect thing, they say. It's, a, it's, a, it's an accent. I'm just scared to say it now. I just say North Dakota State. But a bison deep to start this drive to their own two-yard line. There's oh, a breakaway. Watch out. Oh, jury. My goodness. Who can catch him? Got the sideline. Bumped, and he takes a tumble at the 25. Oh, jury tried to leg it out, and the Cats run him down. Randall Evans put on a little afterburner, caught him, and gave him a push and just enough to bump him out of bounds. You know what? When you only play one safety back in the middle of the field, Dante Barnett was the only guy back there. You commit to stopping the run. If you don't get him, you're leaving yourself vulnerable. Sam O'Jury. Oh. I, I talked about him at the start of the game. He is, he is a special running back. 66-yard game. O'Jury goes out for a breather. Crockett, another 1,000-yard rusher last year, replaces him. Bison stay on the ground. Crockett picks up maybe three to the 28-yard line. Did the Bison stay on the ground or the Bison stay on the ground? There's a winded O'Jury for sure. 66 yards. In the heat of the night puts North Dakota State, Joey, right back at it. They've got a chance after watching 21 points unanswered scored by Kansas State. They got a chance to tie this game. Would you have expected this? No. After the momentum shift coming out of halftime that Kansas State put on North Dakota State? That first five minutes of the third was all purple. Reverse it. Around the edge comes Smith. Stiff arms. Ran a long ways, but he picked up three. He's out of bounds at the 30-yard line. Credit Kansas State. They spread it. Good read. And didn't let him hit the edge. Hey, you know what? North Dakota State had two blockers out there in front that had a chance to spring this, but neither one of them knew which one to get him. Right here, Jensen had him. 64 had him. They weren't quite sure who was going to take him, and ended up nobody to take him. You just get that one block. Take the first guy you see. Let the let the running back, let the guy with the ball make the decision later. You got to get the first guy at the line of scrimmage there. Nearly a big play. Crowd comes alive on a big third down and eight. 
Low snap handled by Jensen. Throws middle field. Again, another option route. Another option right by Ryan Smith. Relying on his field for the middle of the field. They went into an empty set. And they relied on him to read Manor zone. Create a little bit of space, but just too far to get on that third down. Two yards short of the first. It's fourth down and two. And they're going to try a 41-yard kick by Adam Keller. Last year, his longest was 49. This will be from 41. Get the upright in the first half. Kicks up, looks long enough, and got it from 41. So 21-17. So Bison or Bison? North Dakota State. Let's let them decide. It's, it's, uh, it's Bison. It's, that's how you pronounce Bison. 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 Oh, no, bison. bison. And oh yeah, it's Bison with a Z. Bison. bison. Bison, not Bison. Is that why I have no idea? Like, I don't know why. It's Go Bison, that's just the way it is. Yeah. <laughs> Joey, that's just the way it is. <laughs> that's, that's just the way it is. I don't know why, but that's just the way it is. Well, it's spelled B-I-S-O-N, but it's we, bison. How about this? Got it? Right there. Good. Bison Nation. I guess you could sell another shirt or two with the Z, right? Yeah. to talk to Fargo tonight. I tell you, they are well represented here in Manhattan. They're proud of their team, and they should be. They travel well. Hey, you win back-to-back -back national championships in the FCS, you're gonna, you're gonna travel well. They got a great fan base, great facilities. Seconds left in this third quarter. It's been up and down and sideways. Short kick. This time Thompson's going to get a chance to return. Hugs the sideline, and boy, he just barely stepped out. And they're going to mark him out to the 37-yard line. After the game on Fox Sport 1, join Donovan McNabb, Andy Roddick, and Carissa Thompson as they bring you all the scores, all the news, and highlights you need. Don't miss Fox Sports Live. That's tonight after the game here on Fox Sports 1. How about McNabb hanging up the shoes and the helmet? Didn't hanging up those socks, though. You see what he wears on set there? Yeah, that's, I don't know where that, what's that about? That's the Herm Edwards effect right there. Donovan trying to be a fashionista. <laughs> Eight seconds in this quarter. Cats. On the field, Waters sets the throw, does up top in the seam, and just shy of the first down <laughs> to lock it. They're going to run another play, second left in this third quarter. Joey, both these teams are trying to find soft spots. They've done it. They've done it with Lockett and Thompson, North Dakota State. They've done it with Ryan Smith numerous times. And now the clock runs dry. Got a game. Craig Bowl battling Bill Snyder tonight in Manhattan. 21 for the Cats and the Bison. 17 on Fox Sports 1. Hey, fellas, as a former defensive player, if I was on Kansas State defense, I would be begging my offense right now to continue to half as dominated at the time of possession. It's going to be important for Kansas State and Jake Waters right now to sustain a good drive here to allow their defense to get some rest on the sideline. Ryan, good point. As K-State goes back to work on first and 10, 15 minutes left, back and forth third quarter, 21-17 Wildcats. People try to keep those legs pumping, churning. And he's dropped to the 49-yard line after a pickup of one. You know, Ryan's got a good point. There, there are actually times when you don't want your offense to hit a big play as a defender. You know, you've been out there for a long, long drive. It's 90, 95 degrees out here. It's hot. 
Sometimes you don't want that big play because it puts the ball right back in the hands of North Dakota State, and they're going to march down on a tired defense. Second down. Hubert. Gronkowski alongside Waters, quick foot near side, caught Sexton. And he's wrestled down after a first down of the 40-yard line by C.J. Smith. Nice recognition by Jake. Pressure came off the front side there. He saw it, realized they rotated to a single safety. He had an off corner down to the short side here, and he just took it. Now we've got Sams, who danced in for a touchdown in that third quarter from 17 yards to make it 21-7. He's been riding that bike. <laughs> we saw him after the touchdown. He'll touch the ball for the second time. Looks behind his blockers and a stacked up drop for no gain. The defense isn't backing down, Fred. You might expect that with the lack of depth that Coach Bowl had talked about, the difference between FCS and FBS, 22 less scholarships. You know, you, you don't have the opportunity to bring in the depth to rotate guys through that defensive line and keep them fresh. But you know what? We're into the fourth quarter in a hot, humid game, and they're still looking great up front. Waters checks back in, shotgun, two wide receivers up top. Go quick. One on the clock. Snaps away. Pressure. That play looked to be it was going to be blown up from the start. It barely got the snap away, and then North Dakota State Joey came in with pressure, plugged the middle, and Snyder paces the sideline, his counterpart tonight. Had a good talk with Craig Bowl this week. Played college collegiately at Nebraska. So I didn't play a lot under Tom Osborne, but I learned a lot. Loss of two, third down 12. Waters escapes, has a blocker. Watch out, 35, pushes, pass. Where are they gonna mark it? Yep, got the, third, the first down, just inside the 30-yard line. And Hubert really helped him out with a block to spring him for a first down. If, if, you're, a, if you're a teammate, a, def, a, a defensive teammate of Jake Waters, you love it. If you're a coach, you're telling him to slide, giving up his body to get the first down. But let's talk, talk about his escapability out of the pocket there. Great block by Hubert, springing him to the outside, break and contain. But this is what we talked about at the beginning of the game. Previous he has the ability. Jake has the ability to move around in the pocket and get outside contain and make some plays on the edge. He did it earlier in the game and threw the ball in a great comeback, got his hips around. This time he just tucks his head and just runs. Well, the call on the field first down, just uh, inside the 30-yard line, and this play's under-reviewed. This is the third review tonight by Tom Robinson. That's not a first down. At least not from that angle. So I don't think from any angle, unless you have a slide rule. It's where the ball is when that elbow hits. There. And that's outside. That's around the 30 and a half yard line. You needed to get inside that 30. So it's under review. Can't fault him for the effort, though. You really, you really can't fault that effort. You love to see that as a teammate. You know, quarterbacks are often thought of as the soft guys, the guys who don't get hit in practice. They wear the red jerseys. You love to see, you know, if, if you're a defensive guy, you're a teammate, you love to see him just throwing his body around just enough to get a few first downs. Don't get hurt, but just throw it around, uh, throw it around enough so you feel like you're, you're a little sore the next day. After further review, the runner was down short of the line to gain at the 29 and a half. the right call. Elbow down. The moment that arm, that moment that elbow hits. I like this call here. Craig, I like it. Going for it on fourth and short. 
The way North Dakota State moved the ball on that last drive, don't give it an opportunity to get back into it. Trust your big offensive line. Well, it's the two lines. This Correction, the ball will be placed at the 31 and a half. The ball is correct. So it's at the 30 and a half yard line. Hubert, the lone back, he lines up about five, maybe six yards deep behind Waters, who will go under center. Keeper, push the pile. I saw the side official run up, and it looks like he's on. Watch the line judge on the Kansas State sideline where he side puts this. Of the yep. 30. They're going to have to measure, bring the sticks out mighty close. You think, Joey, that eight, nine inches in this game would be easy? It's not. Not when you stack two big front lines together, defensively and offensively. First down, Cats. He wanted to go up the middle, and you can see on that replay, Joy, then slid off off the right side. It's the same thing that happened to Brock Jensen earlier. You know, I was just thinking this. You're going to have a tough time overturning it, but I'm not sure by that angle, by that camera angle, that it was definitively, that it was definitive that he got it. The fact that they gave him the first down is going to make it pretty tough to overturn. But if you're going off of the sideline camera view, I'm not sure you can definitively say he got it either. And it's just the reverse situation of what happened to Brock earlier. When Brock Jensen slid out on that quarterback sneak, the ball was on the front side of his body. Here, Jake Waters gets turned around and his back is going forward. That puts the ball behind him. You know, I think, obviously, Craig Bull wanted to roll the dice. But again, hard to overturn the call on the field. So the Cats will have a first down. And this will be the eighth play of this drive. Sixteen first downs in this game for the Wildcats. Hubert in the backfield. Miller, the motion man. Huber looked like he had a lane, but he was cut. Lukey, number 94, with the tackle. That was the new guy, Jake Waters, coming in. A little shaky early on that first series, maybe a little too excited. A new environment, but settled in nice. 21 of 28, 280 yards and a couple of touchdowns so far has done a great job of leading this Kansas State offense. And he's done it his way. Impressive recovery, as you mentioned, Joy, from the opening quarter. Looking for a delay. He's got real up in the top down. Bison slip in and drop him for a loss of two. Travis Beck, the Will linebacker, number 52 with the hit. Little John there as well, 38. This is going to be a huge defensive play for North Dakota State because Kansas State is at the 32-yard line right now. That puts it at almost a 50-yard field goal if they get nothing here. If you can hold them, this is almost a decision. Do you, do you kick it? Do you punt it? Do you try and pin North Dakota State back if you don't get this? Big down, big third down. Bison showing blitz. They back off. Here they come. Up the middle, flying in. Waters. But that escapability, but then he's upended at the 35-yard line. I mean, they brought the house. Emmanuel was in that backfield, along with Beck. Watch this, going airborne. Airborne to make that play. Fantastic job of just giving total effort. Well, Beck was a high flyer, and he's down, slowly getting up. Look at that effort by Ben. 
on the ground hurt, still trying to make the play. Hey, Craig, it may not seem like much. It's a three-yard sack. But now you go from the, or a four-yard sack, you go from the 31-yard line to the 35-yard. Now that makes it a 52-yard field. Does that change? Does that change things for Bill Snyder? You know, a, a kicker will come to the coach and say, hey, I'm good from 49 tonight. Uh -huh. But at 50, no, I'm not. Or I'm good from 51, but 52, no. But what you know, too, is that Catelli last year hit just from 42. That was his longest. That sack may have taken him out of at least attempting a long field goal. That's why Mark Krause is in the game. Just inside is 50. Snyder opts for the punt to try to pin the Bison. Who's going to take a delay a game here to get a little bit more space? Delay a game on the offense. Five-yard penalty, fourth down. So we'll march it back five. This crowd, you notice, silent. silent. This is what you want if you're North Dakota State. Absolutely. Crowd has had, well, the first five minutes was all cats in the court in the third. And since then, that aggressiveness seems to have uh, escaped Kansas State as they punt away. Trying to drop it inside the five. Their catch. The and they've got a bison hop out of the end zone. And now North Dakota State will go back to work. Down 21-17. Stay close. My name is Lindsay. And I'm Justin. Joey and Craig, we understand how important field position is. In this last punt, we didn't, we saw the special teams player didn't get themselves in position to defend the goal line from preventing the ball to going to becoming a touchback. They got to position themselves in between the ball and the goal line. They didn't do that. Now the ball's at the 20. You see Coach Snyder come over to them and correct them right away. San Diego, North Dakota State now has the ball in the 20. Hey, Ryan, that's a great point because as a play caller, your mentality completely changes if you have the ball at the two versus having the ball at the 20. When you are inside the five-yard line, the very first thing every coach tells his quarterback is get to the five because that gives your punter room. In the event that you have to punt it, get to the five-yard line. That's one. Number two, get the first down. That's your second thing. And three, don't turn it over. Now that you're on the 20, your playbook, playbook opens back up and you can grind it out like you did on your last drive. That's a big play. Second down 10, Crockett in the backfield. They get the ball and the Cats dropping for a three yard last loss. Mueller has been everywhere on this field tonight for Kansas State. Number 44 out of Lee Wood, Kansas. You know, they lost so much of their front line, as I mentioned, the most experienced D lineman for the Cats, and he's proven that tonight. Yeah, he's played in every game for the last last two years, but you, you got to find someone to replace the production of Meshack Williams if you're a Kansas State defensive lineman. Ryan Mueller has shown that, that, that he has the potential of being that guy. Since that pick, you saw Jensen 7 for 7, 68 yards and a touchdown. He needs a big throw here. The ball is on the ground. He picks it up, throws it underneath. And North Dakota State, that play looked to be dead. And guess who? Derek Lang has had big plays tonight. Not many, but crucial plays. And they're going to move the chains for a first down. Well, remember, he, he had that big third down run earlier on third and 15. He, he popped it out there. Now again on the screen. It's about contributing in the right spots. You don't have to be a superstar on, on, on this offense. Do your job. We heard Brock Jensen talk about it. You know, as a quarterback, most guys want to put up big numbers. He said, my job is to put this offense in a good position. Let guys make plays. Touchdowns, first and ten. Jensen caught. And he'll lose four. Who was it again? Mueller. Ryan Mueller. That's twice now. He's gotten penetration into the backfield and blown up the play two yards deep. So it's 
three-yard loss, clock under seven minutes left in this game. 21-17, Kansas State. Play clock to five, snaps away. Jensen in the pocket, little hitch, finds a hole, and again, it's Ryan Smith. Slip ability. Boy, what a strike. Wow. What a strike. Offensive line gave him time to sit and wait for that route to develop. But that, watch the offensive line. Give him a great pocket. Sit in there, sit in there. Sees his receiver come into the opening and just fires a strike. A lot of young quarterbacks would panic in that situation. They'd start running. Brock Jensen, a fourth-year senior, been there, done that. I know where my guy's gonna be. I'm gonna trust him and I'm gonna deliver it to put us in a good position. Now this Wildcat crowd comes alive on a big third down and two. Spinning. First down at the 42-yard line. Truman makes a stop on Crockett. Hey, Craig, we, we've seen him go left a lot tonight. Running behind Big Billy Turner, the All-American from 2012, and a preseason All-American again in 2013. Running behind their strength. And who would have thought at second and 15, with five and a half minutes left in this game, that you'd see North Dakota State sticking to the run? I'll tell you, this is a calm club. Just like their head coach, Craig Bowl, Crockett, alongside Jensen, as we're nearing the five-minute mark. Crockett takes a bump, hit his own man, dropped for a two-yard loss back to the 40. Randall Evans made the tackle for Kansas State, number 15. Here we go again. The exact same situation we had last time, second and long. Brock Jensen sat in the pocket and delivered a strike and put him in third and short, and they converted. What's he going to do this time? This is the, these are the moments that have made Brock Jensen Brock Jensen. He's not a big superstar kind of guy, but when the game is on the line, last-minute drive against Georgia Southern in the, in the semifinals last year, this is, these are his moments. Lines up in the shotgun, quick throw, finds a seam. Down at the 46-yard line is Gephardt. And again, we're going back to watching what North Dakota State does so well. It's the five and six yard game. Little here, little there. When do you start looking at the clock, Joey? It's coming up on four minutes. I was just thinking that. North Dakota State have sh have shown they're not going to change their tempo for anybody. But at a certain point, you have to take it into consideration. Crowd gets noisy on third down and seven. Over the middle. What a catch. On the run. Takes a shot. Down he goes, but hangs on as Vera. We've talked about Ryan Smith a lot tonight. But Zach Vera led the team last year in reception yards and touchdowns. Four touchdowns, 606 yards. They, North, Dakota, North Dakota State brought back their top five receivers last year. Not just one or two. They brought back their top five. Brock Jensen could not be more comfortable with this group of wideouts. Timeout, Kansas State. Arrest for the Wildcats on a long drive by North Dakota State. Down the stretch we go in Manhattan. To amaze, and I'm amazed at Kansas State. 41 yards on the ground thus far. Waters in his debut, Joey, doing a nice job with nearly 300 yards passing. And right now, Kansas State hanging on to a four-point lead late here in the fourth. Mark him inside the 40 on that catch to the 39-yard line. Brock Jensen has now say, hit 12 in a row. And it's almost boring. I mean, it just kind of lulls you to sleep how, how efficient he's been. He knows what to do with this offense. It's, it's, it's great to watch. straight completion since intercepted. Under center he goes. Jensen, five-step drop. On the money, close to a first down. And it goes to Bonnet, the fullback, number 46. Craig, they're getting in the part of the field where you're gonna, things are going to start tightening up. Kansas State, when you're defending 
70 yards, you're going to play a little bit looser. When you start getting into the 30, into the 20, you're able to use that back end line as your as a 12th defender. And you're going to have some situations where you're going to have to use a timeout. You're going to have to take a short game, and you may have to use some timeouts. They got three of them right now. Brad trying to find some noise. Keeper. And the push. All about Jensen getting the help from the big fellas up front. Colville just kept pushing, number 64. God, you think of quarterbacks as, as passers. Brock Jensen was the MVP of the FCS championship game last year with three rushing touchdowns. This guy can run the ball, too. Got a player down for the Wildcats. Looks like number 97, DeMonte Hood, redshirt freshman out of Arlington, Texas. We've got a timeout. We'll take one. Two minutes, six seconds to play here in Manhattan. Human night, 21-17, North Dakota State. Trying to pull off a road win against the reigning Big 12 champion from a year ago. And you can see some nervousness in the stands here in Manhattan. Second down. Right side, spinning to the 20. Randall Evans, the tackle on Crockett. Joey, let's look at the timeouts because the clock is under two. Three remaining for the Bison. One for Kansas State. You know what that allows them to do is stick to their game plan. Absolutely. They haven't changed all ball game. They were down 14 to start the second half. What'd they do? They just ran the ball. They continued to grind the clock, and now they find themselves in a position to punch it in for a possible winning score with three timeouts. They don't have to change anything they're doing. They are taking their time on the plate. Call up the middle. Another big chunk taken away from the Wildcats inside the 15 to the 14. You, you got to wonder. Well, you know they're missing Arthur Brown. They know they're, they're missing Arthur for a lot of reasons. But somebody on this Kansas State defense has to rally the troops. You cannot let this team continue to run the ball down your throat in this situation. A minute left in the ball game. Someone on this defense needs to become that emotional leader and rally the troops. Under a minute, clock is ticking. Ogery in the backfield for North Dakota State. Handoff, plain and simple up the middle. Not much. Now timeout. The first of three will have to be used by the Bison. Well, stay close. Can you smell it? Possible upset. Bruin in Manhattan here on Fox Sports 1. At ChristianMingle.com, you can join the largest, fastest-growing community of Christian singles and find God's match for you the way we did. Joining is easy and free at ChristianMingle.com. Support the puck. Do I have to tell you this? Now we're getting killed on the board. Hello. This is your territory, Grimson. Do your job. Grimson. Hello? Hi, honey. This drive that's taken over eight minutes off the clock. Brock Jensen, pressure, throws, caught. Inside the 10-yard line, first down, Verra with the catch. 
Craig, Craig, they've done it all night. They get into that two-by-two two set, motion the back out of the backfield, which clears the middle linebacker out, and it opens a huge hole. Opens a huge hole for either Vera or Ryan Smith to come in, but what a job by Brock Jensen, staying in there and delivering the football, delivering the strike to get that first down. Jonathan Truman hit him right in the numbers. A if good you hit. The numbers, the jaw. The, yeah, yeah, that's a <laughs> yeah. It's better than the jaw. <laughs> exactly. Absolutely. But the pressure came. He hung tough. He hung tough. And now, 42 seconds, one timeout now remaining. And the worry of Wildcat Nation here in Manhattan. Last year, there was so much talk of, of a national title. So Colin close. Klein and a Heisman. Yeah. Oh, how things have changed. You know, I said it a minute ago, but I'm looking on this Kansas State defensive side of the ball for somebody to, to rally his teammates, to get him up, to pull him in and say, you know what, we are not going to let them get into the, into the end zone here. We have to make a stop. It's been Ryan Mueller making big plays earlier in the ball game, getting some penetration and getting into that North Dakota State backfield to blow things up. But when things have been tough like this, there's no Arthur Brown coming to the rescue here. 42 seconds left. First and goal. Inside to the one. Just short of the goal line. What a run. Brock Jensen turned the corner, had a head of steam, and just short of the touchdown. Wonderful play call. Now the final timeout is used by North Dakota State with just over 30 seconds left. How cyclical is this? North Dakota State started the ball game with that fly sweep to Ryan Smith. Hit it big for 18 yards. They came back later with the reverse off of it. Now you faked it in what could have been the last play of this offensive, uh, of this play for or the game for North Dakota State. Faked the fly sweep and came back with an option the other direction. They have set up their plays so well. It's been a fantastic combination of power straight ahead football and then using their using their athletes, using their attributes. You're scared of Ryan Smith on that fly sweep after you saw, after you saw what he did on the first play, and they've been able to capitalize that on do things off of it. Fantastic play calling tonight by North Dakota State. How about the two different emotions? Craig Bowl, tight lip, looking for an upset on the road. Kansas State fans, it's rare they lose in the Snyder Family Stadium. Look at the body language on the other side of the ball right now, Craig. Where's the, there you go. Finally, you get somebody on the defensive side of the ball for Kansas State trying to get a little emotion. They're just standing there. This is one yard between, between you and being upset by an FCS team at home. 18th play of this drive. And now Kansas State wanted to look at the offensive set. They will call timeout their final of this game. Team play drive in the making. Nearly nine minutes off the clock. Methodical Joey Harrington at times throughout this fourth quarter. And he talked about upset. We're looking at one and just about, I look at the clock, 32 ticks away if they can punch it in. If the way they've been moving the football this drive, nine minutes off the clock, what was that, their 18th play of the drive? This will be. You would never expect an FCS team to come into a, a defending Big 12 champions home stadium and do this at the end of the ball game. Kansas State's defense needs to come up with some sort of emotion. Get a big stop. Get yourself going because you know what? Not only are you out of it on the defensive side, but the crowd is out of it right now. Rely on your home crowd to get some emotion going because you, this, this is your chance. Well, those faces paint the picture. Bill Snyder has built a dominant program here at Kansas State, not once, but twice in his 20 sec 22 years. And here we go. Grothman, the fullback, O'Jury, lines up behind him. One yard separates possible upset. Quarterback keeper leans in. Touchdown, Jensen.
How many times can this young man do this? Against Georgia Southern last year in the semifinals, takes him down the field, runs the ball in, a four-minute drive there at the end to win it and get him into the championship. Now to start the 2013 season, takes him nine minutes, 18 plays down the field. Wow. And now Keller will try the PAT. What a drive it was. 80 yards, nearly nine minutes, 18 plays. He was the MVP of the FCS championship last year against Sam Houston State. And there's a reason why. Oh, boy. That's a play where you go back in the film room on, on Monday. And you're going to kick yourself if you're Blake Slaughter. You had a chance there. You had a chance to step in and make that tackle at the goal line and stop him. That's a tough, that's a tough one to make, but you know what? In this situation, that, that play needs to be made. I think the question too, Joey, will be what happened to Kansas State? After Sams ran that ball in to make it 21-7, overconfident, home field advantage, or was it just possibly the fact that they wore out in this heat? Time now for our Right Stuff Player of the Game, and it's presented by Academy Sports and Outdoors. And you got to hand it off to Brock Jensen. What a performance. He's done it throughout his, his entire career. He's not the kind of guy who hits, puts up big numbers. Threw for 2,200 yards last year, 17 touchdowns. Not the eye-popping kind of, kind of stats that you see from all sorts of spread quarterbacks right now. But he does what it takes to help his team win. And if it's throwing touchdowns, he does it. If it's running touchdowns, he does it. If it's making good checks to put his team into that weak side power today, when he saw pressure coming strong, he does it. You can't put a... Number 12 is now playing as number 30. Sometimes it's tough to put your finger on somebody who just wins. And that's what Brock Jensen has done in his career. Adam Keller has it teed up at the 35-yard line. I guarantee you, they will keep it away from Thompson and Lockett. They played up. They kicked it deep. No return. So they played up, Joey, because they've been looking for the pooch all night long, and this time Keller legs it out of the end zone. I don't even know what to say. I mean, I'm continually impressed by this North Dakota State football team. They're smart, they're tough, they're strong, they're fast. They're this, seasoned. This is as well coached the football team as I've seen in a long time. And that's saying something considering who's on the opposite sidelines with Bill Snyder. Well, Jensen was so marvelous since the pick. He went 14 of 14, 121 yards. And now can Kansas State find a miracle downfield? Ball looks to be caught, picked. Oh. North Dakota State. Olsen, the middle linebacker with the interception. We just said a few minutes ago that we hadn't heard his name a whole lot tonight. Well, you know what? He comes up big when they need him. 19 seconds away, Joey, from the first season opening loss under Bill Snyder since 1981. They were shut out that season by Arizona State, 31-0. It was 21-7 after the Sams touchdown for Kansas State. And now North Dakota State's jump back, and they're up by three. I just, I, I just, I just keep shaking my head. I don't know what to say. <laughs> Clock is running, and the crowd is on their feet. Stunned silence for Wildcat fans. Handshakes by the Cats and the Bison. Upset in Manhattan tonight. North Dakota State 24, Wildcats 21. For Joey Harrington and Ryan Neese, Craig Bolerjack saying goodnight for Manhattan. 
once again. The final score, 24-21. Coming up next, it's Fox Sports Live. You've been watching Fox College Football on Fox Sports 1.